Hi Libra, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? All right, so we're going to be doing your reading for March 3rd through March 10th. All right, I am adding the additional cards so I can decipher who is who. Um, I think that's helpful. I have pre-shuffled all the cards and we'll get started. All right. Let's see what we have for Libra. Oh boy, we have grief. Somebody is experiencing grief right now. And health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Grief states, I understand that losing something is an, is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, all right, so let's see what more we can find out about this situation. I'm using the Spellcaster deck this week. It's a very pretty deck. It's a little bit of a, whoops. The pictures are a little bit darker, <clears throat> but it's still pretty. Don't have a gun. Okay, all right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, the sun. Hmm, this could be about, like, like it says here, appreciating something now that it's gone, okay? Hmm, down here we have the Eight of Wands, okay, so fire energy, major arcana, some incoming communication. Okay. Fast incoming communication. Text or email. And somebody is, is feeling very happy about something. Following, feeling very upset about something. So it could be about this this incoming communication. Temperance. Okay, so we've got we've got two major arcana up here for this person. Okay? So I feel like this whatever situation that you just went through that caused you some grief. Okay? It's I think this is showing the appreciation that you now have for somebody or something, okay? Because you're feeling a lot of peace and a lot of happiness and a lot of healing has happened. Okay, and then we have the tower. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I have some thoughts on this. Hold on one second. And then we have we have it we have the 9 of cups. Wish fulfilled. Okay, so this looks beautiful. Okay, so you're feeling very happy and peaceful and feeling very healed, you know, after you've gone through this period of grief. And it looks as though something is coming in that is considered a wish fulfilled for you. And it could be after somebody communicated something and it changed, it changed everything. I think this person was hanging on to something that they needed to say for a long time and it was affecting their health. And it feels like this person came in and 
either sent a, a message to you, you thought this was over. That's where this, this grief is coming from. But again, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you thought this was over. And when this communication came in, I don't, you know, I don't really view the tower. Honestly, I don't view the tower as a bad card at all because it's a card that, you know, illustrates the universe pushing things forward that we, for whatever reason, we've had a hard time doing ourselves. And I feel like this person has had a very hard time with this communication. And once they have spoken some type of truth to you, it changes everything for this person. So again, I, you know, I don't see this as somebody's world crumbling down. I see this as somebody's health breaking down because they weren't able to speak what they needed to speak for a, quite a while. You thought this was over. When the communication came in, it was like overnight, the sun is shining again, and it's been a, a relief for you. It's almost too good to be true, is what it feels like to you. High Priestess. Okay, it feels like this person finally listened to their intuition. Okay? This person might have had, you know, I think this person actually had a little, could have had a little bit of some prophetic dreams that might have spoken to them. It could have been, you know, about their health. They could have had a health scare and realized that life is just too short, but it, they're finally listening to their intuition. You know, you've got the white pillar here, the black pillar here. So, you know, this person is going back and forth between, you know, kind of their, you know, their angel and their devil within. And they're starting to listen to that angel on their shoulder, trusting it. I'm just going to get one clarifier here real quick on grief. And I'm going to get one clarifier on the tower as well. So for grief, chariot, yeah, you thought somebody moved away from you. You thought this person made a choice and moved in a different direction. And as far as the tower for this person, look at that, death. They were afraid that this was going to, to end, so they communicated what they needed to communicate, or that's coming in this week. But they're listening to their intuition, which they haven't been for a while. They've been going back and forth between, again, kind of the devil and the, the angel on their shoulder. What do I listen to? They're listening to their, their higher self at this point. That's good. That's good, Libra. You could be in either energy, but I feel that this is you. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say to confirm this for us. Validate. Thank you so much for all the views and comments and shares, truly. Um, I hit a 1,000 subscribers last week, so I want to thank you so much for that. Okay, so let's see what we have up here. All right. 
Let your friends help you. Ask for support. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. So, you know, I think, um, you know, if you're still kind of floating in this, this energy a little bit, um, you know, be choosy about who you ask support from, okay? Um, make it the, that, that trusted person that you know that you get the, the truth from, okay? Be, be very, be selective as to who you, you talk about things with, because at the end of the day, you really do believe more what you feel, what you think, than what anybody else says. That's why so many people spend so much time talking to, you know, three, four, five people about a situation to get their opinion, okay? Because, you know, they, <laughs> the first one didn't maybe tell them what they wanted to hear, then they go to the second one, that person didn't tell them what they wanted to hear or what matched with what they already thought and so on and so forth. Same thing with, you know, with readings, right? Do you watch just one? Probably not, right? So you're looking for that validation and actually the, the best place to get that validation is from, from within, you know. For this person down here, we have let go of your control issues. Yeah, you know, that could have very well been what, you know, withholding back their, their feelings, trying to figure out maybe exactly how to say something, how to do something, you know, controlling every detail of it might have caused them some, some challenges with their health or their emotional health, either or but the death and the tower card coming in for this person, it looks like it could have been about control, right? So we have, we have a lot of major arcana in this reading, okay? So the divine, the universe is really supporting and trying to move you guys in the right direction. High priestess, tower, death, Sun, temperance, and the chariot. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Yeah, this is, that's huge. So we have wands and cups. So water and fire. All right. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you this week. That's interesting. I am doing an additional video that I will put out on Monday. Um, literally just kind of giving you my thoughts about all the readings um, for this week. And, you know, maybe some of the similarities between some of the different signs. And just giving you some, a little bit of a, a di an, an additional some additional information on, on what I'm seeing, because there's always trends, there's always things um, that I see each week that are very interesting to me, so I thought that I would, would share that with you if you'd like. You know, if not, you know, just pass it by. Otherwise, have a great week, Libra, and I will talk to you next week. All right, thanks, bye.